Good day, grade 10s. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at percentage composition. Percentage composition. Percentage composition works out the percentage by mass of each element within a compound. And it can be worked out just as you work out any other percentage. So you take the mass of the element that you're looking at, you divide it by the total mass of the compound and you multiply it by 100 over 1. Because we don't need to work with the actual mass of the element, we can use molar mass. Remember that molar mass is the mass of one mole of that element. So if you've got one mole of the compound, you'll have the mass of one element and the ratio of the mass of the compound. So just use your molar mass figures and you can work out the percentage of the element. And I'll show you an example. So let's look at water, H2O. If we look at the molar mass of water, it's 18.0 grams per mole. Oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1. Each of those is 1, so that makes 2 plus 16, which is 18. So to work out the percentage of oxygen, we work out the molar mass of oxygen divided by the molar mass of the entire compound, which is water, times 100 over 1. So the molar mass of oxygen is 16 divided by 18 times 100 over 1, which equals 89%. So to work out the percentage of hydrogen, remember there's two hydrogens, so we need to have the molar mass of the two hydrogens divided by the molar mass of the entire compound, which is 2 divided by 18 times 100 over 1, which equals 11%. Now you can check your answers whenever you're working out percentage composition because the addition of your answers always has to equal 100% because the total weight of the compound needs to equal 100% which each, with each of its components adding up to that 100%. So have a go at working out question 24 which asks you to work out the percentage composition of sodium chloride and the percentage composition of potassium nitrate. Pause this, check your answers, I'm going to work through the answers after this. So sodium chloride Sodium chloride, the total molar mass is 58.5 because chlorines is 35.5 and sodiums is 23.0. So to work out the percentage of sodium, we take the molar mass of sodium, which is 23, and divide it by the total molar mass of sodium chloride, which is 58.5. So 23 divided by 58.5 times 100 over 1 and that equals 39.3%. To work out of the chlorine, we do the same thing. So percentage of chlorine is the molar mass of chlorine divided by the molar mass of sodium chloride times 100 over 1, which equals 35.5, which is the molar mass of chlorine, divided by the total molar mass of the sodium chloride, which is 58.5 times 100 over 1, and it equals 60.7. Remember, double check that your answer is correct by making sure that these answers add up to 100%. Potassium nitrate, again, just write down the information that you know, which is just looking on your periodic table to find out the individual components molar mass and the total molar mass of the compound. Once we've got that, we can work out the percentage of potassium by dividing the molar mass of potassium by the molar mass of potassium nitrate, which is 39.1 divided by 101.1, which equals 38.7. The percentage of nitrogen, again, we do the same thing. So it's 14 divided by 101.1 equals 13.8%. And oxygen. Remember, there's three oxygen in potassium nitrate, so we need to multiply the molar mass of oxygen by three and divide that by 101.1. So we get 48 divided by 101.1 times 100 over 1, and it equals 47.5. Again, just check that these guys all add up to 100%, and you know you've got your correct answer. So you can now have a go at... Um, 
So now grade 10, you should know how to work out the percentage composition of any compound that we give you. Please make sure to go through the assessment questions and make sure that you've practiced it and that you can do it with ease. Thank you. Hope you have a wonderful day.